Hello again. Um, this, uh, this part of the video, I'm going to be d using some masking fluid. And I have the weird issue that I'm allergic to latex, which is the ingredient in most masking fluids. So um, there are some alternative masking fluids. Um, that do not have latex. One of them is Pebio drawing gum, but you have to order the stuff that comes from Europe because the Pebio drawing gum that is sold in the U.S. has latex. So I usually order it from Jackson's in the U.K. when I need it. But um, it kind of leaves a blue. It's blue and it leaves a little bit of a blue tinge to the paper so I just I don't like it so also so what I'm using is a Windsor and Newton Windsor and Newton permanent masking medium which is thin it's it's really thin and runny and I'm using it with a dip pen and I'm using it to put in those little I don't know if it's frost it looks like hoarfrost, um, but it might be some kind of foliage. There, There's the white, <laughs> the white stuff. I'm just going to call it frost for now. Um, there, are, there are some branches dropping down from the main branch there, or vines, or something. I'm really not familiar with the environment that this bird lives in. I've never seen a bird in, I've never seen a Stellar's Jay in person. They're common on the West Coast. And this is this is actually a young bird. So it looks a little different from a grown up Stellar's Jay. Anyway, um, I am scratching in those markings using permanent masking fluid. And this is experimental. Um, We'll see how it works, and if it doesn't work well, I will use a, a gel pen or a Posca pen at the end to put the markings in a little bit darker. But um, for now, um, I'm using a dip pen, and uh, <laughs> it's about knocked over my little cup there. I poured the masking fluid into a little cup that's actually a communion cup. For those of you um, Protestant Christians, you've probably seen those things. I am a retired minister, so I have a couple of those around, and they're really handy for ink and this clear masking fluid. So I'm just dipping my pen and making little scratch marks, and um, I will actually just speed this up, speed up the video from this point because. You really can't see what I'm doing, and you know I'm really just dipping it in and scratching in little markings, so they will become a little more obvious once I paint the color over them and I paint the the branch and the the vines that are hanging down. So I'm gonna speed this up now, and I will see you at the end of this video. Hi, I'm back. Um, you probably saw in that uh, super fast section that I put blobs, I put some masking on the top part of the painting. Um, in 
in the reference photo, there are some you know, white blurry parts that are in the background. So kind of a, a bokeh effect almost. So I stuck my finger in it and I made big blobs on the top part. And I also scratched in some of the frost that's hanging down on vines in the background. And now it's time to just let that all dry and we'll see how it works when I put paint on.